Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage with another installation video. And today I'm going to install these Pathfinder LED lower cow lights for this newer style Honda Goldwing. The Pathfinder LED lights is going to give the Honda Goldwing extra visibility on the front and lighting up the lower part of the Honda Goldwing. So stay tuned to the video and I'm going to walk you through how to get these Pathfinder LED lower cowl lights installed on the lower cowl of this new style Honda Goldwing. Let's get started. I just want to give a special thanks to Wing Stuff out in California for sponsoring the Caliente Garage with these Pathfinder LED lower cow lights. So again, thank you Wing Stuff out there in California. I appreciate it. On the box, it says ultra bright daytime running lights, DRL. It increases rider visibility, front and side view dynamic sequential LED turn signals with amber dynamic effect. The box contents come with a left and a right cowl light, a left cable and a right cable, a six millimeter flange nut, a 10 millimeter flange nut, an instruction guide and a drill hole template. All right, so let's open these up. So we have the installation guide. We have two flange nuts. In the kit, we have the daytime running lights for the lower cow. Have a left and a right. And also you have the cables. And these are going to mount on the front of the lower cowl. These are black. They actually make them in black and chrome. They are basically a plug and play. So you have a right cable and a left cable. So looking at the items that came in the box on the wiring, the blue would be the left, the yellow, would be the right. So these are a plug and play. Now to run these, you're going to need the wiring harness. This wiring harness is going to go directly underneath the seat. It's going to plug directly into the Honda Goldwing. So how this is going to work, you have a harness for the right and a harness for the left. Blue would be your left and yellow would be the right. So the same as the actual wiring that came with the Pathfinder lights, you got blue. You want to match them up with blue. On the, the right, you have yellow and you want to match it up with yellow. So the very next step of the installation is tying in the Pathfinder wiring harness. We have two harnesses. We have the blue on the left and yellow on the right. And it's gonna tie in underneath the passenger seat on each side. Blue to the left, yellow to the right. So we need to get these connected the same way we connect up the gold stripe. Snap it in like so.
Next, I'm going to snap in the other side. And I'm going to do the same to the left side. Push in on a tab to release. So snap it in. Next, I can tie in the other side. Snap it in. So now that we have the Pathfinder connected in line of the Honda Goldwing, we're going to do a bench test and verify that the lower cow lights actually work. So next, we're going to take one of the lower cow lights. This is the blue on the cow lights. I'm going to plug it in to the blue on the wiring harness. I'm going to take the right harness, plug it in. Next, I'm going to plug the right, which is yellow, into the yellow side. And now I want to bench test these to make sure that the Pathfinder lights actually come on and work properly. So I'm going to turn on the ignition. going to try my left turn. gets its power. For my installation, I'm not going to use the wiring harness, okay? So I'm going to bench test. I'm going to take the harness out of the equation. For you guys that um, want to do plug and play, just connect this directly underneath the seat. Okay, for my installation, so what I've done at this point I basically just kind of spliced the, the wire and I'm going to verify which one is the right, which one is the left, and which one is the ground. Okay, so gen generally black is ground. It's not always the case, but generally black is ground. I'm going to take one in and connect it to my battery, which is a 12 volt battery. And basically how this should work. Once I touch the white, white should be running lights and the yellow should be the right turn signal. So when I put power to the white wire, it should just stay white. Okay. That lets me know that that's the running light. Now, if I take the same 12 volt power and put it over to the yellow, that should be the right turn. So. And this is how I'm going to straight wire it on the bike. I'm gonna... So my first step is to remove the cowl from this Honda Goldwing. Just want to get the bottom. So these screws are identical. Pop off this little cowl. Now that I've removed the lower cowl from the Honda Goldwing, I'm going to take my template and I'm going to cut with some scissors. I want to just cut out one of the templates. We're going to start with the right side. And now on the right side, we're going to take the template I'm going to lay it on the, on the lower cowl and we're going to drill our holes. I'm going to take my punch tool, 
lay in the right cow. Just gonna start my point. I'm just going to make my indentions where I'm going to drill. So I got two marks. I'm going to take my drill. Gonna take my step bit. I'm gonna drill out. I just want to make that hole big enough to put the, the connector through. Do, do the same for this, this side. I'm going to take one of the plastic flange nuts that come out of the kit. A big flange nut and a smaller flange nut. It's going to take that smaller flange nut. feed through the flange nut. Just gonna screw it down. Wanna make sure you don't cross thread it. And keep in mind this is plastic, you don't wanna over tighten it. I'm going to take a 10 millimeter box wrench and tighten down the smaller flange nut, being careful not to over tighten it. Just hand tightening. And now this side is ready. Now we can do the other side. Take my five millimeter Allen Take off these two bolts. That's a one. That's two. Pull off the right cow. Comes right off. I'm going to take my left template and I'm just going to cut out the template. This template was on the last page of the, the installation guide. Okay, now that I have the left template cut for the left cow, gonna fit onto the side of the cow. I'm gonna lay the cow on the ground to make it easier to drill. So I'm gonna take my punch. I'm just gonna mark. I'm gonna mark the spot where I'm gonna drill. 
just gonna take my little punch, make a little indention. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Just gonna mark the spot where I make the indention. Indention. I'm gonna take my light that has the blue for the right side, and I wanna make the hole big enough to put the threads through the cow. So, since I started my pallet hole, I'm gonna take my step bit, and I'm just gonna make a hole big enough Just big enough to feed the wire and the threads through. Just want to check my alignment. Next, I'm going to start. Push all the way through. Now I can take the provided nuts that came in the kit. Start with my, my big flange nut. Screw it down. Just to get it started. Then I'm gonna take my smaller nut Push it down onto the smaller threads. Tighten down the big flange nut. Then I can take my 10 millimeter open box wrench and just tighten down the smaller nut, being careful not to over tighten it. pushing down as I turn. Don't want to over tighten it, don't want to break it. So now that I plug the light in, now I got to figure out how do I want to run the wiring. I'm gonna take some tape. Just take some regular gaffer's tape. Put it across this connector. Now I can snap that light. Back up to the bike, and next I can run my wiring. So for my for my installation, I'm going to try to go behind the the lower side engine lights. Kind of slide it out. And now I'm just gonna run my wire up under this cover. Now I can put back the screws.
So now I can finish running the wire, pull it through. And now I have the wire underneath the seat. So now let's work on the right side. So the blue wire being the right side, I'm gonna plug in the harness. I wanna feed the wire along the cow out of the top. So I'm gonna take some tape, take a little bit of gaffer's tape. And I'm just gonna tape that wire down. So next I can put the cowl back on the gold wing. Now I can bolt it down. So now I can put the bolts back through the, the right cow, screw it down. So next I'm gonna run my wiring behind my lower wind deflector. Come up behind this lower wind deflector. I'll take the bolts out of my side engine cover. Pull the side cover off. Feed the wiring along the track of the side engine light. Now I can put the bolts back through the side engine light cover. Tighten it back down. Up through side of the bike. Now that I've ran the wiring along the side of the bike up under the seat, now we gotta get everything powered up and connect it. So if I look in, so if we look, so if we look inside of the saddlebag, you can see I already have a show chrome isolation fuse block. And also I have my homemade fuse block inside of the breaker panel. So the wiring that's coming from the show chrome accessory isolation fuse block, we're gonna tie into this wire that runs directly underneath the seat and I'm gonna tie in the Pathfinder lights and we're gonna tie it into my accessory isolation fuse block because it gives me brake lights, running lights, right turn and left turn. So the isolation fuse block wiring actually comes right in up under the seat. I've already pre-wired this when I purchased my Honda Going. I need to. That's the thing about a, a motorcycle. It's best to pre-wire it so when you're ready to add accessories, all you have to do is tie into that wiring. You don't want to tie into the wiring of the bike, especially on the new Gold Wing, since it has the CAN bus.
This is my own separate wiring. Now it's a couple different ways I can do this. I can cut off the ends and tie them directly into the wiring harness or I could actually cut some of the ends off of this harness and connect this to where I still would have connections for future Pathfinder light accessories. So we're using yellow, we're using white, and we're using black. So we're using yellow. I don't recommend that you do this, but I'm not gonna use this harness anymore. So I'm gonna cut off yellow. We're using yellow. We're using white. And we're using black. Okay. So now I can cut off the black. I can cut off the yellow and the white. And we're not going to be using red. So I can just disconnect red there and there. I'm going to wrap that together like so. We're going to splice yellow, black, and white. So black is going to be the ground. White. It's going to be my tail lights. And yellow. Yellow is going to be the, the right turn. Green is normally brown is your tail lights. Green is your right turn. Yellow is your left turn. And white is the ground. So I want to verify what each wire means before I actually tie in the wiring harness for the right and the left side. Once I turn on the bike, this light should light up. Brown mean the tail lights. So when I press it, it shouldn't light up. No lights. But when I turn on the ignition, it should light up. So that tells me this is the tail light. Okay, we're gonna test the green. Green is normally right turn. When I press it, it shouldn't light up. But when I turn on the right turn, it should start flashing. So I'm gonna turn on the bike. Once I turn on the right signal, it should flash. Okay, when I press the yellow, the yellow shouldn't flash because that's left. But once I turn on the left signal, it should flash. Let's turn on the left. Okay. White should be ground. Okay, so we're going to plug one in so we'll know which one is going to be connected. So we need blue, white, and black, no red. Blue, black, and white, no red. There's red. We can go ahead and cut it. We need blue. All the way down. We need black. And we need white.
Now I can take this harness out the equation. So we're gonna splice the white, which would be, should be ground. Blue. Then we're going to go with the ground. And so I'm going to actually bench test this before I put it on, before I connect it to the bike. I just want to verify the lights on the left side. So to bench test these lights, I'm going to take my battery. I'm going to plug in one of my connectors, blue on the blue side. I'm going to take my negative, hook it to my negative. hook up my negative to the black. Then I'm gonna take my positive. And I'm gonna hook it up to the blue. The blue should be the left turn. When I hook up the light, it should come on, which would be that's running lights. That's running lights. And then when I hook up the blue, blue would be the, when I hook up the blue, blue would be my left turn. So everything is working on this end. I'm gonna test the other side. Black is the ground. And the white should be my my tail lights, I mean white should be the running light. That's my running light. Yellow would be my right signal. So white is the tail light. Yellow is my right turn. We're gonna do black to black, which would be ground. Gonna be ground. Yellow, so black to black is ground. White would be the tail lights. And then we can hook up the right, the left, and the right turn separately. take this white cable. This is gonna be my ground. I'm gonna tie my ground together, which would be the black. Take a butt connector. And I'm going to sort of disconnector with this heat shrink. So since tail lights are usually brown, I'm gonna make this a brown connection. Hook, hook the brown to the white. And I just want to heat that connection, heat that soldering inside the heat shrink, give it an airtight seal. I'm going to take this yellow wire, I'm 
yellow, which represents left. So we're gonna go with blue. Take my heat strength connector. And it's gonna give it an airtight seal. And then next we're gonna hook up our right turn, which is normally green. So I'm gonna take some green wire. Connect it up like so. Take our heat strength connector. I'm gonna just heat that connector up. So now we have yellow, which would be right turn, white would be ground, brown would be tail lights, and the green would be right turn. Our connector, push it in, spin it on. Next, we could take that white connector, which is gonna be our ground, and we're gonna tie it into the ground. Just screw it in. Tip. We could go with green, which is our right turn. Push it through. Take our positive tap connector. Just gonna push it in. Thread it. So next we could take the green, which green would be the right turn. We're gonna put on our connector. And now we're gonna screw in the green. Next, we could do the brown. Just expose that tip just a little bit more. Take our positive tap connector. Push it down the tip. Push it in to thread it. Take the end connected to the brown. Brown would be our tail lights. We got one more and we're gonna connect the left turn. Take out in from the posi tap. Gonna push it into the posi tap. We're gonna thread it and we're gonna take our tip from the posi tap and then we're gonna tap into the left side which is yellow. Feed it into the posi tap 
And now I can tighten down that connection. And now basically what I've done is I've created a harness that I can connect up to four Pathfinder connections without having to tie into the end of the, the passenger seat. This ties straight into my saddlebag, which is connected to my isolation fuse block. So now I have connections for additional Pathfinder outlets. So let's turn on the bike and verify that the turn signals and the running lights work on the lower cow. So here we go, we're gonna turn on the bike. Running lights are on. Now let's try the left turn. Let's try the right turn. So the running lights are on. Let's turn on the flashers. So everything is working and now I can put back the seat and get everything put back together. And this is gonna conclude the installation video of the Pathfinder Lower Cow LED lights for the newer style Honda Goldwing. I like the way everything turned out. The Pathfinder lights actually give extra visibility to the front and to the side of the Honda Goldwing. Also, once again, I wanna thank Wing Stuff out in California for sponsoring the Caliente Garage with these lower cow Pathfinder lights for the newer style Honda Goldwing. Also check the description of this video. I will include links to all of the items that I installed and where you guys can pick up the Pathfinder lower cow LED lights for your Honda Goldwing as well. If you guys like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will talk to you guys later. See you. I'm young, I got a rocket by the